Well, co-sleeping is the practice of parents sharing their room or bed with their child. And many in non-Western countries say it's considered not strange to share a bed with your baby. Foxy Peace Kelsey Nibisto investigated the topic and has more. It's natural for a mother and her infant to co-sleep. Why wouldn't you sleep with your baby? This is the main argument of many co-sleep supporters when confronted about their reasons for practicing co-sleep with their child. And according to anthropological studies, co-sleeping provides cues for infant breathing, which could prevent sudden infant death syndrome. There's something unique about being a working mother, and that's really a big part of why co-sleeping works so well for us. I don't get to see him during the day. But is it safe? The safest thing is for a baby to be in an approved crib or bassinet at the parent's bedside, but not actually in the bed with them. Um, and all cribs should be inspected and make sure that they follow the, the most current safety standards. There are three types of co-sleeping. Bed sharing is when the child sleeps in bed with the parents. Using a co-sleeper bassinet or a crib that may attach to the side of the parent's bed or placing a crib inside the same room as the parents. For the Thompson family, co-sleeping has always been the way to sleep. Once um, it comes to sleeping, it's just a matter of where everyone's comfortable and what they need that day. And sometimes our older daughter will just, just have a rough day. Like she's four, she's testing the world. And um, I think those days, she just wants to snuggle at the end. Because the Thompson family members are all in different areas during the day, this is where they come to spend their nights, bonding time with the family. Bedshare parents say having their child in bed with them helps the baby sleep better and creates a special bond between parent and child. But officials strongly advise against bed sharing, saying it poses a serious risk to the infants. Most adult beds are too soft and have too many blankets and just it's not a safe situation for babies. Ultimately, it is up to the parents to decide whether they will co-sleep or bed share with their child or not. For more information about co-sleeping, visit UpperMichiganSource.com. Kelsey Nemisto, Fox GP News, Marquette.